So we um, took children who were coming out of 10th grade and uh, provided them this financial support for 11th and 12th. Uh, very, very small because their the, the expenses for the parents are very less. And then later on continued supporting them all the way to complete their higher education. So anybody who joins the program uh, in our scholarship program today stays with us for almost uh, four to seven years, depending on what they are studying, right? Two years of 10, 11 and 12th, followed by maybe there is a three year degree, there is a four year degree and sometimes a master's. And uh, we have had enormous success in this, uh, in this journey. We have close to um, 2,200 children, more than 2,200 children who have completed the program and got on to become employed. A um, few years back, I think about four years back, we did the impact study of the program and found that any child who is going through the program, completing his studies or her studies, can pull the family out of the below the poverty line in two and a half years. So it's enormously impactful. Today we have this year, we would have close to 7,000 children in the program. We have um, 5,000 children coming out of the last year and we will add 2,000 new, new children uh, this year. Right? So 7,000 children will be in the program this year. We have um, children who have come out of the program who are hundreds of people who are doctors, engineers, nurses. We do not um, direct them into any specific course. We give them the freedom to choose. At the same time, you know, more than providing financial help, we also provide them with uh, life skill training, we provide them with uh, career counseling and various other support um, support activities. Right? And this has been one of our very, very successful programs. Of course, uh, it has been now 23 years. Today we are in 14 states. We have given out 26,000 plus scholarships. This year we'll have 7,000 children in the program and we will continue to expand. So that is, that is now continuing. In Mira is here, so she will talk about some of the transformation we have done about this program during her presentation. Uh, then later on we got into various other areas. In 2004 we set up a residential scholarship program uh, for children from very, very underprivileged backgrounds. And that has been enormously successful, but the numbers are very small. Because every child who enters our program is with us for almost 18 years. So our first child whom we took in 2004. Again, we start these things quite small and then expand because we need to learn how to do these programs. So we started in 2004, we took two children. Uh, one of them was named, uh, I should not describe it, Pradeep, right? He just graduated. Today is an extremely important day for all of us. Today we have launched a new initiative, Sankama, to encourage and celebrate classical arts, which are our heritage. We believe that music has the ability to bring people together, to unify them on a same platform. The word Sangamam means confluence, coming together. As I said, today we launch a new initiative. We are planning to have more events like this in the coming months and years. Thank you. Any questions?